In this video, I give you all the information that you need to know about the National Education Management Information System, also known as NEMIS. Let's get those credits rolling. As schools open this year, so many parents are unaware of what NEMIS is. The confusion that's there is mostly for people who are transitioning from primary school to high school. The Ministry of Education has insisted that students must get admission letters that are from NEMIS. As at the time of shooting this video, if you go to this particular link, it's down and that's the only link that works in order for you to be able to get a letter from NEMIS. Now I want to give you a little explanation of what NEMIS is, the different modules that are there and also information on how you can be able to access it and how you can be able to navigate it. So stay tuned to this video. The Ministry of Education has created a system that is known as NEMIS which is an extensive system that is supposed to track the learners progress. This system will have all the learners information from the time they are enrolled to the time they leave the education system. There are different modules that this system has. The first module is the institution module where every place of learning is registered here. This is usually done by the Ministry of Education which will register all the schools and every single school can be able to access all their details and the details of their learners and their staff as well. There are five different sub modules in the institution module. This include the institution's registration, the school's infrastructure, the school utility, co-curricular, teaching and learning materials, as well as emergency reporting. The second module, which is the most popular, is the learners module, which captures all the learners information, their performance, their progression from one stage of education to the other, as well as their mobility, their mobility type, the institution they're coming from, which is the discharging institution, to the one that they are going to, their talents, which is the things that they participate in, co-curricular activities and other skills that they have. A unique personal identifier is given to every single learner. This unique personal identifier is where the birth certificate is input into the system and it will give a special number that is different from your ID, that is different from your birth certificate number. This is a school system identifier. So no other student will have your a unique identifier. The learner registration is also captured where contact details of this learner is captured as well as all the other personal details of that particular learner. The third module is called the staff module where you will capture all the details of the member of staff both teaching and non-teaching from the time that they were appointed to a particular institution until the time that they leave. All their details are captured in a particular institution. Their mobility, that is, whether they are transferred from one school to the other, how long they stay in a particular station. Their teaching areas, which are the units that that teacher is specialized in, and the responsibilities that they have, whether they are a head of department or they are a deputy principal, for instance, all those details are covered by the staff module. The next module is the finance module, which tracks all the incomes and expenditure of the institution, where it looks at the fees that are paid by the students and also the fee amounts that have been approved by the Ministry of Education. It also looks at capitation, which is the amount of money that is disbursed by the Ministry of Education to public primary schools, secondary schools and universities. It looks at the income returns if the institution is involved in other activities that generated income, they will also show up there, as well as all the amounts of money that have been received in forms of fees, in forms of co-curricular activities, amounts that have been generated by the institution. It also has development fund which 
captures all the money that has been received whether to build the money that has been received for other capital expenditures is captured under development fund and then expenditure returns all the money that has been spent by an institution to do its different jobs which is staff payment and all other bills that need to be paid all that is captured in the expenditure returns then there is a reports module which allows the user to generate routine and ad hoc reports specific to their mandate so different users have different forms of access to the system and different levels of access to the system so that will determine the kind of reports that they can be able to generate from the system in order for you to be able to access the nemesis system the ministry of education assigns a username and password to every single user of this system so you go to this website which i'll put here where you can be able to access if you already have a username and password every institution will generate a unique personal identifier for its learners so as a parent you are not the one who's going to generate this number this number will be generated by the institution that that student is in for the students who are going to form one that is going to be generated by your primary school because they are the discharging institution. So you'll get the UPI, which is a unique personal identifier from your primary school, as well as your admission letter from them because they will be able to generate it. They need to input the birth certificate number in order to register the students onto the system. Once they have done that, all the details from the Ministry of Education will be shown on that particular student's profile. As a school, you will be able to actually even give the details of that particular learner, input their progress in terms of performance, input the skills that they have and the talents that they have, all this while they go through the system. Once they are done, with the school then you will place a discharge or a transfer for that particular learner to the next institution where they have progressed to so as we go on we'll probably do more videos to explain what exactly this system's capability are as more information comes